What give it? What gives people feelings of power? Money. What status, give it? What gives a... people feelings of power? Money. What status, give it? What gives? A... What give it? What gives people feelings of power? Money. Status. Wandering around the AD wearing a gray market bro <laughs> bought Rolex. Dude, there's some great content on this subreddit. Like I could spend an entire stream just looking at this subreddit. It's awesome. New I think we've probably already detected. seen most of them. Putting a winding rotor on a movement. Putting a movement in. Putting a winding rotor on a movement. Putting a movement in a winding rotor. Okay, look. This is actually genuinely cool, okay? Like, Cartier recently released, like, a limited edition watch. We New don't, like... I understand detected. that, like, the price of this is gonna be ridiculous. I don't know what they cost. They're probably really f expensive. But they built the full watch movement inside the rotor. Or I guess, you know, the move movement is... Like, Cartier recently released, like, a limited edition watch. We New don't, like, I understand that, like, the price of this is gonna be ridiculous. I don't know what they cost. They're probably really f expensive. But they built the full watch movement inside the rotor. Or I guess, you know, the movement is part of the rotor. And this thing actually rotates winding the entire mechanism as you wear it that's actually cool like i think if you appreciate any sort of engineering it's actually cool i don't know if i can find i don't know if i can find a video of it i saw this little video about it that i thought was pretty neat this is not not the video i meant but it's it's you know the same point look so as you wear it it, it winds itself but normally you have a rotor that does it but this thing actually, like, turns... As, that's kind of cool, right? I think that's kind of cool. I think that's kind of cool. In Invicta quality control is shameful. Not two hours into wearing a new one, the spring bar popped out. Uh, all right, all right. Why are you here? I thought you were financially stable. See, a lot of these are just silly watch memes, okay? Oh yeah, this guy is kind of infamous on a bunch of. Oh yeah, memes, okay. Oh yeah, this guy is kind of infamous on a bunch of uh, subreddits. Apparently, he says, "I only go to the AD, that's the authorized dealer, to show off my Rolexes. I dictate." How How they Jesus are treated, not the other way around. I don't want their business, just their attention. And the attention of everyone in the shop looking around drooling over my wrist hardware. Oh, I saw this one! Oh. oh, I saw this Oh, I saw this one, man. This, this, I would like to believe is a troll. Yeah, exactly. I think they're elaborate trolls. I think Hartnepper is right. But some of them, it's really, really hard to say, though. Look at this one, man. This is actually wild. Rolex slash authorized dealers Music should introduce detected. minimum income requirements. Lately, I have been so turned off by Rolex. I've seen way too many Rolexes, especially Submariners in central London. Even my conshares guy has a sub. It's truly disappointing. ADs and Rolex should require tax returns to vet potential clients. Too many Rolexes in central London can't be a good thing for the brand. And as good a thing about Use this rule or detected. and a good thing about this rule is it would reduce waiting times do you think this is waiting times do you think this is a troll or do you think it's for real it's 100 percent a troll right that's what i'm thinking man it's so hard to say real troll yeah maybe i hope it's a troll an, an ad is an authorized dealer so like a, a jewelry shop that can sell them New subscriber detected. The thing is, though, when it comes to, like, watches in general... I mean, don't get me wrong, Rolex is very expensive, but in the world of watches, they're kind of, like, you know, mid-tier. But in the world... But in the world of watches, but in the world of watches, but in the world of watches, they're kind of like, you know, mid-tier. 
Like there's people, th th there's brands that are detected. that are significantly more prestigious. There's people, th th there's brands that are detected. that are significantly more prestigious and expensive. So like, if this is for real, the gatekeeping is so wild because it means that I guess he can't, you know, it's kind of nasty. Even if it is a troll, it still makes me uncomfortable, man. Loco, I'll give you my Grand Seiko for a VIP. Instant VIP, confirmed. <laughs> yeah, every once in a while... <laughs> yeah, every once in a while these pop up, which is like... I don't cringe very easily because I've been on the internet for a long time, but... C like, come the fuck, please. Please, don't, please, just... Why is it a top the f No! Do you think it's trolling? It is very hard to know if it's trolling. <laughs> yeah. So currently, since the, the stock market is not doing so hot, as you may have guessed, watches are also not doing very well. WTF is happening to prices. I bought my... This is a... Uh, it's a what's it called? GMT Master. Around four weeks ago for 30,000 pounds. Now the dealer says he can only pay me 12,000 pounds because the market is so short. Should I dump it now or hope the prices recover? I'm scared. Is this also for real? I would like to think this is another troll. I really hope people aren't actually this dumb. First off, spending that much money on a watch seems really dumb. Sorry. What does he mean, dump it? He means selling it back. So he's basically saying, should I just sell it back right now after owning it for four weeks and take the 18K loss? That's 18,000 pounds. That's like $25,000. It's f***ing mental, man. The problem is, I know that people like that definitely do exist out there somewhere, and it makes me scared. Yeah, yeah, exactly. People buying it as an investment and all that. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's basically like GameStop. Or like, you know, you know, a bunch of those meme stocks. Look, okay, a pause, please. I gotta pee. Pears become a strawberry? Oh my god, dude. I knew it. <sighs> There's no pausing. There's no pausing in this game, Echo Soldier. You still haven't shown us pictures of your cat. You haven't shown us pictures of your Grand Seiko either. I don't even know if these things exist. And you dare request a pause? Wow, dude. Also, what maniac doesn't go to the toilet with his phone? What are you gonna do? Just sit there? Read the shampoo bottle? You're gonna sit there with your thoughts? What about... Like, what if you start self-reflecting? What if you start reconsidering life choices you've made? What if you suddenly think, Oh my god, maybe the Pathamon is not actually that good for me. I personally try to avoid all of that sort of thinking just by being perpetually stuck to my phone whenever I'm doing anything mundane. That's a smart way of doing it. Loco, check DMs. I never check my DMs very quickly. Yeah, if you ever take a... If you ever make a smoothie... And you put three pears in it, they become a strawberry. It's one of the weird things that science can't explain. Luck was playing hard to get in DMs. Shall I look at my most recent DMs with Loran? What did I write? I asked her if we still had tacos left over. She said yes. Good DMs. That is love. <laughs> that, that's love. Yeah. Leaking my DMs on the internet. Now, I'm not very good at responding to people very quickly, usually. It depends. Like, if it's Mugetsu Gabriel, days. Sometimes weeks. If it's uh, Loran, usually within the day. I look at... I, I look at the chat what we have within the day. I look at the chat and this is what we have, Heart Never, really? We're looking... For Oh, you sent me pictures on Discord? I didn't understand what you were saying. Oh my god. <laughs> what a great photograph. <laughs> That's a quality picture, dude. 
I still don't know if the cat is real, but it looks kind of real to me. It could be a penguin. I'm not sure. C minus for effort. Yeah, he was moving. Yeah, cats tend to do that. Cats are pretty awesome though, dude. I'm very glad we got them. You know, I wanted a dog and now we have two cats. I did get tacos today, so I got that going for me. He's got better ones, Loco. Let's see, there's another picture. <laughs> dude, Echo Soldier. <laughs> it's not that hard, man. It's like, it's like FaceTiming with my mom. She also has her phone right over here. What is going on? She also has her phone. She also has mom. She also has her phone right over here. What is going on? <laughs> I don't really. It's okay. It's a cute picture. Yeah, it's a cute picture. It's very dramatic. It's kind of like uh, you know that um, that me like what's it called? The meme girl house on fire, like with the, with the burning house. Dude, yes. It's basically the same picture. Look at this. It's basically the same. He's just a photographer. Same level of energy. Photographer. Same level of energy anyways. Same anyways. Hello? 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 Heiko, darling, slow down. Oh no. Who is this? Oh, I am simply a concerned observer. Like my, my, you know. Is that Loco? If I'm Heiko, is that Loco? Are you me? I am part of it. Would part of me look so cool? This is just what I look like, okay? Deal with it. Sorry, I didn't mean. Donation confirmed. Forget about it. Meow wow, meow wow, meow wow, meow wow. 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 I can't tell you what a relief it is to finally get out of your head. But look, I'm worried about us. We need a hobby, but this? I know it sounds crazy, but I need to climb this mountain. Yeah, my character is one of those crazy people who goes, you know, free running. Or what is it called? Free climbing? Where they like climb these mountains and try to like, you know, go play. Places that you shouldn't reach without any protective gear. I do think we need to be stopped. This is not good. You are many things, darling, but you are not a mountain climber. Who says I can't be? I know it's not your strong suit, but be reasonable for once. You have no idea what you're getting into. You can't handle this. This is exactly why I need this. Are you the weak part of me or the lazy part? I am the pragmatic part. I'm trying to be diplomatic here. Let's go home together. Oh no, I'm on a timer now? Ha! <laughs> I'm perfectly capable of destroying myself, video game. I don't need anything to chase me down. <laughs> she does exactly what I do, yeah. No! Oh, come to. Oh, dude, I'm so fast.
part. Literally the easiest part. I Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. 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 Run, run. <laughs> I freaked myself out with my own movement. Oh, oh, oh. No! 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 That was so good! I felt so good about it as well. This is getting out of hand. Now there's three of them. I actually really like this chasing concept. It does freak me out though. Oh! Oh! Keep going! Ooh. There's another strawberry, man! Ah, yikes, where do I begin now? There's another strawberry! Man, I didn't realize I liked strawberries this much. I mean, I like I like strawberries as much as the next person, right? Don't get me wrong. Ooh. Oh no! No! Okay, this is a long chasing sequence right over here. Oh come on, Loco! You you know when like the easiest things become hard? Oh, that's so hard. Go on, sis. That's where she set, Loco. All right then. I cannot. I, it doesn't help, by the way, that these things are chasing me. Believe it or not. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Where do we go? <gasps> I don't know how many there are, man! How many levels are there? Nice. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Are there? Nice. <gasps> That's a very long one. Hey, nice. <laughs> Fear Dragon, that's toxic. I can't believe that you've just said this. Hey, nice. Fear Dragon, that's toxic. I can't believe that you've just said this. What's up? What's up, dude? Oh, we're standing a little closer to the fire this time. Hey, Heiko, you made it. Never mind. <laughs> Climbing up here was stuff, but totally worth it. Oh, worth it. Just look at these ruins. I took so many great picks. Wanna see? Oh, sure. Aww. Theo, these are great. Maybe I'll finally hit a thousand for Oh, we need to formally commemorate this occasion. Take a selfie with it. Uh, I don't think that's such a good idea right now. Aww. Aww. He's got those things in his ear too, dude. That's when you know he's cooler than you. Sorry about that. Don't worry. I won't post that one. No, it's alright. You can post it. I'm just not photogenic. Heiko, don't be so hard on yourself. No one looks good without a filter. <laughs> when did this game come out? Like, already Theo has aged kind of horribly. I don't know exactly 
exactly least, but it's gonna get as time goes by. It's gonna get worse as time goes by. <laughs> Casual, yet refined. Yeah, much better indeed, Theo. I agree. What made you want to try photography? My grandpa was really into it. Apparently, he was semi-famous in the photography world. I don't know if I'll ever be that good at it, but it's nice to feel close to him. So you're determined to climb the entire mountain? Yeah, I told myself I would. I'm done breaking promises to myself. Life goals, I dig it. I doubt I'll make it to the top like you, but I'm not ready to turn back just yet. Are you getting any data up here? I don't have a smartphone. Heiko, I don't even know how to respond to that. <laughs> Theo is so cringed out of his mind right now that he doesn't want to talk to me anymore. I don't have a phone. I don't, chat. Stop judging. I'm not an influencer like Theo. Have I actually- no, I've never played an actual dating simulator. Mass Effect doesn't count. What about The Witcher? In The Witcher, I didn't date anyone. Loco, why did you play The Witcher? I played The Witcher for, uh... Geralt, mostly. We were on Team Roach by the end of that playthrough, man. Everyone's like, Loco, Team Triss, Team Yennefer, all that. What was it again? I think Triss... Triss slept with me while I was unconscious or something? What was the thing again? I don't remember. That was, like, it was actually really f***ed up. And then we killed someone. It was- it was a weird situation. And then we got friendzoned by someone, too. She manipulated Geralt when he lost his memory? Yeah, yeah, that's, I guess, what happened. I don't know, man. It was f***ed up. So my strategy of trial and error is evidently not working. So my strategy of trial and error is evidently not working out yet. Dude, I don't like this. No, going up right and over is not the way. That's the way to the dock. Okay. Still jump. Can't just dash. I'm slowly becoming dumber than I already am, dude. My brain? It used to have a couple wrinkles in it. It used to have a couple wrinkles in it when I first started today's stream. It still was a little wrinkly. Right now, it's just gone like <laughs> it's just smooth. I'm just completely. It's like you've ironed my fucking brain. Brain. Yeah, each ghost slowly, slowly but steadily. Yeah, it's like a marble now. It's like a bowling ball inside of my head. It's like a bowling ball inside of my head. I can feel it wiggle. Okay, here we go. Here we go. On the edge. Oh! How? Bro! Uh, I, I don't get it. Oh, maybe I need to... Oh, I need to jump from down below. Maybe that's the strat. 
I've been memed like that before in the game, man. You're probably right. Like, most people learn from their mistakes, but instead I blame the game. Which is a really great strategy. Like, rather than taking responsibility for your actions, just blame other people. Or things, company, the government, politics, you, you, you name it. It's really good life advice. Dude, how is this room so tr tricky to me right now? I don't get it. I wanted to go play Tetris, but I don't think it's gonna happen, guys. I think instead we're gonna watch my brain become even dumber. Why did you jump at that one, dude? There's definitely not gonna be time for Slay to Spire, I'm afraid. Come on, what am I even... How is that not it? I don't... How was I... Yeah, I think I had to take one step further to the left. But if you step too far, you fall off. Oh man, I want to see how many times I've died. I think I keep thinking it's like Mario, you know, where you like jump on the ghosts. And then if you jump on the ghosts at the right angle, it dies. But these are not turtles. These are ghosts. Oh! Oh! First try, baby! One hundred percent that if he gets this, he's never ever going to do B sites. I don't even know what you're saying. I don't know what to do with the key. No, I have a key, but I don't know what to do with it. Am I supposed to go back? Was there a lock somewhere? Am I supposed to take the same room back or route back? I don't know what the point of this. I don't know what the point of this area is. No, I've already gone up. There was a lock? I- I don't think I should do this room, dude. I'm gonna lose my mind. Like, this is incredibly hard. I need to make, like... All of these jumps are incredibly precise, and you need to have the correct timing on everything. But I think I have to, in order to go back, on everything. But I think... But I think I have to, in order to go back... Yeah, I have to do this exact same little jump again. Yeah, just time it right. Collecting the cassette unlock or unlocks B site, which is the new level for the whole campaign. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that right now. Wait, can I? Oh, I can just go around like this. Okay, I can always go back and get that later, man. Ah, yeah, this is where the lock goes. Ah, right. Yo, thank you, Rumpus. Appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. Dude, I am already struggling plenty. I really don't need even harder levels. Not at this point, anyway.
Can I climb down? Okay. Okay, okay. How the f Huh? Oh no, I can go down. I can go down. Sorry. I thought I had to go through the top. Okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is so bad. What the f Jesus. <laughs> this is so bad. What the f All right, we're going to try. We're going to try. I've peaked, dude. It's all downhill from here. It's all downhill from here. There's no way it's gonna get better than that. Here we are, our award-winning presidential suite. Dude, this room sucks. <laughs> Truly, it is very definition of rustic luxury. <laughs> rustic luxury. Look who it hurts me to watch you play this. Look, I'm not very good at, you know, platformers, but we're getting here. I'll stand back and allow you to soak in the majesty. Okay. I understand it can be a lot to handle. Dude, there's like a mirror and a table and like, you know, a bed. So what do you think? It is beautiful, but I don't know. It looks expensive, very spacious. The colors are elegant. I, I knew it would impress you. Yeah. So can I get on the roof from here? You imbecile, you're losing her. I forgot to mention. Value of fairness to accommodate. Okay. Please, Miss Heiko, please stay. Mr. Oshiro, I've already been sidetracked too long. Oh no, Heiko, sweetie, forget this loser. Loser? You're in denial, old man. This resort is a dump. No one would ever want to stay here. Someone had to say it. She didn't mean that. I, I'm very busy. Please leave, Miss Heiko. Come on, Miss Heiko, you hurt the man. Look, guys, do you really want to just lie to people or do you want to tell them the truth? Do you want to beat around the bush? Or do you, uh... This is a question, yeah. This is a question, yeah. It's a bit harsh, but it is what it is. Huh. We made a hole in the roof. I thought we'd never get rid of him. You owe me one. Add it to the list. Leave me alone. I thought you were so determined to keep climbing. Now all of a sudden you're some weirdo step. Why won't you go away? Miss Heiko, before you go, I need to ask one question. Why would you be so nice to me only to run away? What did I do wrong? This is that guy on, on Tinder who like, you know, got stood up at some point and he decides to reach out to the person. You know, got stood up at some point and he decides to reach out to the person that, you know, stood him up asking, what did I do wrong? Like, he's the nice guy. Yeah. What did I do wrong, man? <laughs> Give it a break. You still don't get it. She only helps people to feed her twisted ego. She never cared about you. <laughs> Shut up. I just wanted to help. You're both pathetic. <laughs> Pathetic. You only came here to humiliate me? I won't grovel at your feet any longer. What? Oh, fantastic. Great. 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 We gotta work on our gamer. Oh! Our gamer moves. Oh, what? Did I just... Okay. Our gamer reflex is not doing so terrible. It's not a boss fight, it's a boss flight. I like that. <laughs> I like how I like jump over the hard stuff. 
and then like bump into the easy things. <laughs> Always great to watch a man perform at his absolute limit. Dude, this is what peak streaming looks like. Take a screenshot. It will last longer. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm basically Max Verstappen right now. This is like Mike Tyson in his prime. Absolute peak of human performance. It's wild to see what the human body It's wild to see what the human body is capable of, man. When push absolutely. It's wild to see what the human body is capable of, man. When pushed to the absolute limit. Oh, come on, man. How does someone get even worse at the game? Oh, okay. Oh, that was good actually though. Okay, we need to just fall at the end and dash at the very Oh no! F me, dude. That was nasty. That was not cool. Okay, okay. You're doing good. Am I though? I don't know, man. We should have just talked to Ashiro rather than what we're doing here. I agree. Diplomacy would have definitely done a little bit better than this. Dude, how long is this chapter though? I guess if you do everything well, it's not that long, but... Oh, is that it? Mr. Oshiro, stop! Did I finally complete this section? I just wanted to help. It feels like the home stretch, right? It really does. It has been feeling like that for a good while. <sighs> Dude, my hands actually cramped up. Oh my God, that's not good. I've decided to close the hell hotel for repairs. The second floor plumbing is leaking. The library is in complete disarray. Not to mention the hole in the ceiling of the presidential suite. Please, just leave me alone. Did I complete the third chapter? Oh, I think we- Oh, yes! Hector We have successfully turned into being a bit of a dick. Oshiro didn't seem like that bad. Alright, guys. How many times do you th think I died? Give me a number. I think I died 1600 times. I'm gonna go 1600. 350? Aww. That's kind of sweet. Mutlesses is like, you know, but you have one of those games where you have to guess the amount. But you have one of those games where you have to guess the amount of, I don't know. Mutlesses is like, you know, it's like, you know, but you have one of those games, like, you know, but you have one of those games where you have to guess the amount of, I don't know. Like, I don't know, what are they? Like marbles in a big jar? You no. Know? Like, I don't know, what are they? Like marbles in a big jar? He's like, you know, it's a full jar. He's like, seven. I don't think. It's nice, Motlesses, but I don't think that's accurate. Uh, let's see. I got all of the strawberries. Great. Oh, only seven. Oh, only 780. Heiko, the Forsaken City. Oh, we have a f two hours and 47 minutes. Right, so I was correct. Oh, <sighs> man. Gl global, st global steam deaths. Oh, I'm really contributing to that. 
Selderick, why did you post this? Selderick, why did you post this? I have no idea. Selderick sometimes links these things. It's called fashion, Selderick. You wouldn't understand. Dating as a StarCraft player. You wouldn't understand. Dating as a StarCraft player. I meet someone, we talk, I show them my StarCraft 2 100% campaign achievements, they leave. Bro, you just haven't found the right person. Like, if she or he is not impressed by your 100% you campaign achievements, detected. you just haven't found the right person. The only reason why Loran ever talked to me was because of my 100% campaign achievements, actually. Yeah. De, de Zagara with no Zagara. I don't like this meme. This is a terrible meme. Only nine. Only 90 kids will get this reference. How do you get to G GM multitask? I don't get it. It's the multipass? What show is this? I haven't s I don't I haven't seen this, no. It's fifth element loco? It doesn't ring a bell. I'm sorry. Fake, fake nerd. Fake nerd? Yeah, I'm a fake nerd. It's true, man. A lurger? Man. A lurger? Oh no. A lurger? No, stop. Forever un. Forever unlucky? No. Oh, he's doing the, uh, what's it called again? The Akinator? Is your star or is your character linked to League of Legends? Linked to League of Legends? No. Character European? No. Is your character associated with bad luck? Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> That was the question that did it! Bro, that's not the reason why you think it happened though, Artie. That was the question- I think it's a reference to the Artosis curse. That did it, right there. It's not- I'm associated with bad luck, even the internet knows no, it. No, dude, it's the Artosis curse, 100%. I believe I am in the Akinator too, yeah. We tried it out years ago. It took many, many, many questions. I believe- I believe I am in the Akinator too, yeah. We tried it out years ago. It took many, many, many questions. The Akinator knows Loco? Okay, let's see. Play. Select your next game thematic. Alright. I am a character. Is your character a real person? Yes. Is your character known for making YouTube videos? Yes. Does your character record videos in English? Yes. Am I a girl? No. Do I make Minecraft videos? No. Do I make videos about games? Yes. Am I dark skinned? I am not. Do I play Roblox? Hell no. Do I no, no Fortnite either. Horror games? No. Shooting games? No. FIFA? No. Did your character try to kill? No, bro. What the f Am I famous because of Twitch? Would I use the word famous to describe myself? Uh, yes, Loco? Alright then. Do I have a beard? I wish. Do I have- No, I- Bro, first I try to kill someone, now it's schizophrenic? What is this? What is- Is it trying to like- Where is it trying to connect me? I'm not- No, no League of Legends. Am I linked with cars? Nope. Does your character make a contract with a demon? <laughs> yes? It's just called speaking Dutch, chat. I don't think that's what it's referencing anyways. Is your character rich? I don't know. Is your character- No, you I do not work on television. What's going on, casual Tommy? Love. Yes? You guys would answer that I'm rich. Really? Hey, thank you, casual Tommy, for the 53 months. Does your character wear glasses? No. 
Do I produce my own music? Nope. Is your character Asian? Nope. Do I have special ice? Nope. Who the f is that? Yes, continue. Do I live in America? No. Am I linked with Doki Doki Literature Club? Twitch yet wishes that I was, but no. Do I see ghosts? Bro, why is it asking, first off, if I'm a real, is it asking, first off, why is it asking, first off, if I'm a real person, and then it's asking me all these dumbass questions? No, I'm not from England. Am I a radio st No. Do I have an animal shape? I'm shaped like a homo sapien. That's how I'm shaped, for the most part, anyways. Just a really long pinky finger. Anyways, do I make educational vi videos? I have made educational videos, yes. Am I an actor? Nope. A oh, oh, oh. Oh, here we go. It's gonna tell me I'm Harstam. What should say Harstam? No. Do I have a special car? Not really. Oh, oh, am I connected to Blizzard games? Is your character... I have a skeleton. Do I do challenge videos? Do I appear in a Pokemon animated series? Huh? Have I been the world champion? Have I won some type of championships? No, bro. Bro, not really. I'm a f loser. I get it now. Do I have numbers in my nickname? No. Am I a member of a team? No. Do I wear an eyeglass? No. Have I hosted a television show? Not an official television show. Do I live? Yeah, we settled on that, Akinator. I, I do live in Holland, which is a section of the Netherlands. So, you know... Only how many questions did it take? Dude, that's a really ugly photo of mine, by the way. Can we get a new photo in there? This is a really bad picture. Dude, you did it, though. We did it. Character already played 686 times? Last played yesterday? Really? Mock shot of Loco? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really emphasizes my forehead. I try to emphasize my strong feature, and I figured my, my forehead... Making it extra glowy would be the way to go. Anyways, cool. I'm a steamer. <laughs> I'm one of those things you could use. <laughs> I'm one of those things you could use to freshen up your clothes. Really convenient. Your clothes. Really convenient. Good guy loco, man. Helping Gabe out with like two minutes worth of the net. Good guy loco, man. Helping Gabe out with like two minutes worth of the next highlight video. It's very little, little editing, making Gabe's job easy. Are you making Gabe's job easy? Are you here to explore the city? Yeah, I have a thing for abandoned places, and I like to think of myself as a budding photographer. Oh no. Theo is the type of guy who has like his Instagram handle on the side of his car. You know, he's with one of those stickers, it's like FTO photography or whatever. Anyways, do you have a blog or something? A blog? A, a blog? Heiko. Everyone uses it. Inst See? Bro, I'm telling you. Theo definitely has his Instagram handle and a sticker on the side of his f***ing car. Or plane. Whatever. I- See- Bro! I- I- Bro! I'm telling you! 
I am Theo under stars. Look me up. Embarrassing, Theo. <laughs> Everyone's a model on Instapix. I can't believe his Instagram exists. Did someone actually... <laughs> someone made this account? Theo under stars? Sometimes you eat the bear and sometimes the bear eats you. Oh my god. That is amazing. He's got 42,000 followers. That's pretty awesome. Amazing. He's got 42,000 followers. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. What? What? No, the sh is also in the bottom left. I still have to climb. How do I climb up there, bro? That's not an easy climb. I still need a dash for that spot. I didn't see the wiggling grass. That was amazing. What do you mean that was amazing? That sucked. No, I think it's doable. Oh, this is so hard. I'm so bad, I mean. Yes. Oh. All right, dude, my thumb is starting to hurt. <laughs> I'm squeezing my controller for five hours. Do, 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 five. Do, 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 vibrations. Ba, ba, da, da, expectations. I don't like Mutas, man. Mutas, I don't know. Not a fan. What the f*** is this fortress over here at the natural? <laughs> Look at this! No! No, I still- No! No, I still run in! Yikes. This guy's playing Sim City. A sup- A sup- a supply depot farm. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, he whispered me. Nice A move there at the end. Nice A move there at the end. Cheers. <laughs> No way, bro. What a guy. I mean, it was a pretty nice A move by me, I agree. Raynor beat Hero Marine on the ladder with his protals, and Gabe was not happy about it. Oh god. Let's see. The reason I'm so triggered is actually very simple. So my opponent saw a reacted factory, right? He saw a reacted factory. A reacted factory! He used three 
lives to defend all. And I'm very passionate about this, as you can hear, because this really triggers me. So he saw reacted factories. He used three lifts against the Hellions. And he still has the audacity to skip the Robo, to skip the Oracle, to skip the detection. You know what I love about this? I'm sure that if you were to ask Ray. This, I'm sure that if you were to ask Raynor about it, he would literally just give you the reason of high test. I would, he would just give you the complete meme. He would just tell you to get good. Yeah, exactly. He would just go, you know, he would just be memeing about it. I'm not exactly sure to what degree Raynor understands some of these like super high level moves in Terran versus Protal. So he's talking about Phoenix lifts and how he used three lifts on a reactor. To, like, you know, there's some very deep strategy over here and there's probably a good reason why you shouldn't be doing it. Despite all that. I, I wonder, like what I'm getting at is I wonder how much Raynor is getting carried just by being ridiculously good at the game, you know? Now that's just evil. Like that's just straight up, this guy's an idiot. <laughs> I it's an idiot and I might lose against an idiot. <laughs> Does he not the, the know it's Rainer? Is actually very sick. Wait, wait, wait. Did he not realize it was Rainer? Oh, that's funny. Oh, Rainer was playing a barcode. Uh, that's funny. The fact that Herbury gets a little triggered by it is pretty, yeah. Uh... Anyway. Apparently, Rainer's very good at, yeah, playing Protoss. Anyway. Apparently, Rainer's very good at, yeah, playing Protoss. Rainer starting an OnlyFans? OnlyFans? Very good at, yeah, playing Protoss. Rainer starting an OnlyFans? OnlyFans? Um, well, I was thinking about opening it. But I think it would receive a lot of negative feedback. Like, I was thinking of opening an OnlyFans where I f*** Protoss players. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd subscribe. Yeah, I'd pay for that. Oh, that was a bit messy. <laughs> he actually got quite lucky there. Oh, he made the gold base. Oh, okay. I actually misread that. Oh, okay. My hotkey was actually not the one that. That I expected it to be, but we got there eventually. I'm playing the wrong hotkey profile. I changed some of those hotkeys at some point. G! Ma! Get the camera! We did it. I have. We did it. I have like one health. Can anyone expose Vayne? Expose. Yeah, thank you. Woo. What? I didn't get anything. Could, can someone... Does anyone have... Can, can someone... Does anyone have any blood? <laughs> Please, sir. Some blood. <laughs> can I have a little snack? I'm out. I got a little tiny bit. I was out too loco. I just wanted to be... <laughs> oh, come on. All right, well, thanks for the party. My little sister has been really struggling for crying. My little sister has been really struggling with a health condition lately and finally got to see a doctor. They charged her.
My little sister has been really struggling with a health condition lately and finally got to see a doctor. My little sister has been really struggling with a health condition lately and finally got to see a doctor. They charged her $40 for crying. Brief emotional behavior assessment? <laughs> what? Visual screening? Hemoglobin? These are all just cool words for uh, very little. How to file an appeal? Wait, if you get a receipt from... Appeal? Uh, Wait, if you get a receipt from uh, what was it like a uh, wait, if you get a receipt from uh, what was it called like a like a, a hospital or whatever, you already have a little section that says how to file an appeal that's on the receipt. Yeah, I understand that you can appeal it, but like <laughs> they're like if you think this is fucked up cuz we know it probably is, you can appeal it. Is that what it's saying? Yikes, man. Yeah, they make it uh, pretty, uh... Yeah, they make it uh, pretty, uh, convenient. Do they have any evidence of the crime? <laughs> they overcharge because private insurance will pay the higher amount if you don't don't got insurance, you can appeal and they will redo the charges at a lower amount. Ah, oh, yikes. Okay, I don't really want to get into this, guys. I... No. Did you call her Yennefer just for this, Watopia? Did you call her just for this, Hold F this Watopia. Hold F to mount is Watopia. Please tell me there was more thinking involved than just this. It's not even a unicorn, so I don't know. I write her every morning. Okay, then. Nah. Nah, I, I wanna I wanna learn recipes by myself for the most part, man. I understand that other people can probably... Oh, this is... Wait, is this where your base is? This? What the... <laughs> your back door goes straight to... His front door? Don't. No, don't. Do, n do not. No. Thort moved because he didn't have enough space to extend his castle. So now he has someone else right at his front door. <laughs> he has plenty of space though. I think his high ground will probably be enough. But it's kind of funny.
that the reason Thornt moved is because he ran out of space and now there's someone right behind him. <laughs> oh, nice stuff. I like that you can build a base wherever you like, though. We're all neighbors, man. We're all hanging out in the same neighborhood. Wait, is... Wait, is that Hart Nepper's base? Wait, is that Hart Nepper's base up there? Hart Nepper, is that your base there? Hart Nepper is there? Hart Nepper? Hart Nepper, is that your base? If this is Hart Nepper's base, I'm gonna giggle. We used to be neighbors down south. Well, not me and, uh, not me and Nepper, but. All of us were close together, I suppose. Now Hart Nepper has a base over here too. Very nice. You just moved here? Aw. I should have brought a housewarming gift. It's tiny loco, I just moved. Alright, alright. I like that we're all hanging out in the same spot. Yeah, get Psycho out of here. He's not part of the cool kids clan. Cool kids clan. Cool kids. Cool. Cool kids. Cool kids clap. <laughs> that almost sounded. That almost sounded wrong. It sounded wrong. That almost sounded wrong. That's not what I said. Almost. He's the only one here in a different clan is what I'm getting at. That was over. Slippery slope. That was, that was very, very close. That was barely acceptable. He really wants to sit on that sh shelf. Sh on this. Sit on that shelf. <gasps> that's a really bad idea. Oh yikes! I'm taking. <gasps> that's a really bad idea. Oh yikes! I'm taking damage. Buddy, what was that, man? <sighs> that was close. Those little shelves from Ikea can hold a little bit, but... I don't really know exactly how much. He didn't throw anything off? No, 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 he would only th throw something off intentional. It wouldn't really happen on accident. My dog accident. My daughter pointed out the resemblance of me and Lady Demutresk, better known- Yeah, yeah, she's a character in the 2021 survival horror game, Resident Evil Village. Oh no! This lady, Rochelle Rockin. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's surprisingly close. The hair and everything too, Chet, in case you hadn't noticed that part. She's probably about 10 foot tall too, yeah. Ursula, do you have any blood? Ursula, do you have any blood? You do? You do? 
Papuch, do you want me... Can you expose your vein? Oh, never mind. Watopia didn't hesitate at hearing that idea. He immediately was ready. Thank you, Watopia. Didn't even hesitate, man. He loved it. Loco, stop biting your friends. Couldn't resist. Innuendo. Couldn't resist. The innuendos in this game are off the charts. I'm not even doing anything, really. I have not made a single in a single innuendo this entire playthrough. None of it. Nothing about sucking, biting your friends, working together, exposing your vein. Yeah, none of that. It's just game mechanics, chat. Oh yeah, this is the big storage room, dude. Look at this. So this is Dita Hunter's. He showed a screenshot of this. This is his storage. Actually wild. I think he's got one thing for every single one of them. For every single, like, type of research. A uh, resource, rather. Oh no, he's got multiples. What the f***? You have multiples for gem dust? Are these all full? I doubt it. Yeah, Dita Hunter is playing corporate, uh, corporate V Rising. You will be able to ship gem dust to your place within about half a day time. You just need to give him an advance notice and pay him. Loco, I'm dead. Please rest me. What? What are you doing, Watopia? I'm so confused. Well, how did you die over here? Did you just want me to save you? Is that what's going on right, right now? Oh, that's what's happening. Okay. You're just a damsel in distress. Waiting. For the, the knight in shining armor to uh, come and save you. I see how it is, dude. Oh, no. Yeah. Step, loco. I'm stuck. Oh no, I fainted right in front of the door. Save me. Right, I see. Watch this, Chet. Watch this, Chet. Are you ready? How do you do this? No. <laughs> Not like that, you don't! How do you do this? No. Watch this, Chet. Are you ready? How do you do this? No. Are you ready? Are you ready? How do you do this? No. <laughs> Not like that, you don't! Not like that! I don't know how to do it. Okay. Alright. Uh, panic? Yeah, that's... Not ideal, dude. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch that one out, and then put that one in there. Right, right, right. Don't worry, I just wanted to create a little bit of a challenge for myself, so I could dig my way out of it, you know? This is to create some additional flair and drama in Twitch chat. So you guys can be like, oh my god, my streamer, my streamer, I was here, you know? <laughs> Mercy! No such thing! Look at the uber nun over here. Look, we're killing a bunch of scholars. They're humans. What good have humans ever done? Look, are you're human too? What? I'm a vampire, Gabe. Listen to Gabe, he thinks I'm a human. Kind of thick coming from uh, someone who lives in Romania, especially someone who lives in Romania. You're gonna go get your garlic? Do it. Better be safe than sorry, man. You never know when the Dracula shows up. <laughs> I actually do like garlic too, yeah. Garlic is pretty up uh, overpowered, man, not gonna lie. You know who doesn't like garlic? The Queen of England, apparently. She's like a hundred years old. 
She's an aristocrat who lives in a f castle. Someone brought this up the other day. Fairly certain she might be a vampire. Like, if there is someone in IRL who's a vampire... Like, if I was a vampire, right? I would certainly go settle in a place that has very little sunlight day to day. England seems like a great place. I know she has a nice place of her in, in Scotland as well. Even less sun. Little bit suspicious. That's why she wears that big ass fedora. I don't th think that that's called a f but sure. Yeah. Didn't the queen get sick the other day? Yeah, she probably just needed fresh blood. Like she never, uh, you know, needed to put in a ton of hours if she didn't want to, financially speaking, anyways. But she's been she's been at it for like seventy something years. Actually, wild. Like actually impressive. She's ninety six. Okay. Is Charles still ever going to be king at this rate? Because Charles is like also in his 70s, right? 70 years on the throne next weekend? Dude, that's crazy. She might outlive me too, yeah. Good chance at this point, dude. True, true age, nine. True, true age, 900. <laughs> no, all jokes aside, I think it's pretty impressive that she, uh, you know, either she really doesn't trust her son, which is fair enough, or she uh, just really wants to have the job herself. Dude, I am building the ugliest. Dude, I am building the ugliest setup ever in a game of Tetris. Holy. Close your eyes, guys. This ain't pretty. Only, only need a couple of eyes here in order to get anything done. Okay, we'll put one more gap over there. One more gap over there. Give me some eyes! Uh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I don't have any place to go. Ugh. What an ugly game. Ugh. That was so ugly. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> Did I get stream sniped? <laughs> Is Rushy streaming? No, don't make it a crotch cam. Oh, God. Jeez, okay, fine. I'll move the white. I like having the cat in the room. It's just that he has absolutely zero... Like, he he, he gets distracted extremely quick, quickly is what I'm trying to get at. Is Rushy stream sniping? Wow. Okay, I'm gonna actually move him, because I don't want to be in the middle of his EVZ. I'm sorry. Tell me if he goes Brute Lords. Rushy wants some coaching from Twitch chat. That's important. I think I'm all set up, guys. Rushy's actually good at the game, so I gotta be a little cautious, especially with ZVZ. It's very easy to uh, accidentally make a mistake and lose. How to play like a donkey 101. Loco, I feel like he spared you willingly. Maybe. But I don't know. Is he roasting you? No, he was roasting himself. That's the Rushy way. Self-roasting is the rushy way, unless the opponent is Protals. Then it becomes all about the Protals. <laughs> Absolutely me, dog shit play. Was that the first... Absolutely me, dog shit play. Was that the first ladder game you played though on the new computer? <laughs> Did you guys know that when you... Did you... Did you guys know that when you buy Serral's mouse and keyboard and his gamer chair, your MMR goes up by like 1500. There's a direct correlation. What the f going on here then? <sighs> okay, fine. I'll scout for more. He's gonna make a bunker. He wants to, anyways. Ah, can't. <laughs> what the f is going on here? Why is the command center that far forward? Oh no, it's more. Okay. 
Oh, he's making a wool off. Wait, is he gonna go planetary into wool? Is that the plan? Natary? <laughs> I think that might be the plan. Natari okay, sorry, I couldn't resist. Uh, there's an NG bay right next to it. I don't know what the NG bay is gonna do there. I think this is a opener where the Terran's saying, Okay, Zerk. No! Is he? Please put a planetary in the wall. I would love that very much. Oh my god, he's doing it. <laughs> Sorry, I was giggling. Hell yeah, dude. I believe they refer to this in the business as a true NA special. Do you think he has any anti-air? I'm gonna poop creep on his basis. I guess we'll see if he has any sort of anti-air. Be kind of funny if he doesn't. Okay. Poop, poop. Double poop. Very good. There he comes. There he comes. <laughs> Does he have any anti-air? Oh, he's got the marines from earlier. Ah, boo. He may have the marines. Okay, I'm gonna send my Zorklings over there. Okay, he's got cyclones too. He's putting a planetary over there as well. What a guy. Yeah, this, this is one of those guys who has no win condition. His main win condition is trying to survive and hope my internet disconnects. It's the worst type of player to go up against. Like, their entire build order relies on me having shitty internet. Well, jokes on you. My internet usually is pretty good. <laughs> Happy New Year. Quick, Burrow. <laughs> yeah, he's making a lot of mines. Oh, yikes. My Viper's word part. Oh, God. <laughs> Impressive stuff, Loco. Nice hotkeying. Anyways, doesn't matter if we're playing Zerk. Zerk, no P man. Like Blizzard, please. Oh, where the f are my, my units? I have detection. I swear. Ah, there they are. Right. Minced Roach. Playing against turtle players in general, though, is uh, pretty annoying. Like, I can do whatever I like. It just takes a while. It's hard to lose this game. It's doable, but in general, not really very likely. It's just, uh, yeah, annoying. Just gonna have to hope for the best. Alright, do you think this guy is gonna leave with a GG? He's not seen my side of the map ever since he proxied his very first barracks there. He's not done anything. Yeah, he's waiting for the Hyperion. This is that mission where you play, uh... With Horner. Or you're waiting for Horner and the Hyperion Rudder. You're sitting there and you're trying to defend. You just get bunkers and stuff. Hold out for 30 minutes and you might actually, you know, get someone to safety. But They're tricky games, though. Like, you gotta play, like, twice as good. Genuinely, like, uh... Like twice as good. Genuinely, like uh, turtle games are kind of boring. But these aren't even uh, straightforward like games to win. Look, so we're just just ranking up, right? We weren't ever that close to losing, but we we had we have to play so much better than losing. But we had to <laughs> we have to play so much better than them. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it's still a pretty good win. One day I'll. One day I'll just agree with my parents on practically everything. This is what I'm truly afraid of. C could it be that my parents were really right all this time? No. I refuse. Were they actually smart all this time?
Say it ain't so. Maybe I was the cringy one and not my parents. Yes, dude. That's exactly what I'm saying. I was probably the cringy one all this time. <laughs> oh no, I hope they're not watching right now. They would enjoy this a bit too much. Maybe I was wrong. My mom doesn't speak very good English, guys. I think we're good. It's my dad I'm concerned. No. Dude, I feel like as a... A teenager, I feel like the majority of the arguments... Ooh. What's that? A potion containing the blood from a human? Drink to fill your body with its contents? Did you just give me a potion filled with blood? Guys, a stranger just handed me a potion with blood. What do you do? You drink it. No, don't do that in real life. Bad idea. Don't do that. That was high quality blood though, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> YOLO loco. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, right. I feel like the majority of the arguments I had with my parents growing up was just about the computer time, dude. Like, every time. Like, that was the only thing we would properly argue about. I mean, we had other shit too, but it was mostly just about how much time I could spend at the computer and stuff. For some reason, right? Get this. For some reason, my parents had a hard time accepting the fact that I wanted to be on a computer all day, every day. Like, they, they, they didn't think it would be a good idea for me to just sit in front of the PC all day. What? Isn't that crazy? Look how it turned out. F***ing disaster. No. They said I needed a real hobby? Oh, really? Okay, no, they didn't say that. No, my parents have always been very supportive of it. But, like, that, that was, like, when I was, like, 13, 14, 15 years old. Something like that. That was, like, the main argument all the time about how much time I would spend at the computer. Because I was, I was playing a little bit of RuneScape, just a tiny bit. My parents weren't entirely sure how to deal with that. They were like, well, he's not doing bad in school. My school was fine. Like, they would tell me to go outside, and then I would go outside for all but three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, okay, I've been outside, I'm back. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't ideal. Yeah, I was definitely uh, playing a little bit of RuneScape. Just, just, <laughs> just a bit. I was playing a lot of RuneScape. Your parents told you you needed a girlfriend? Wait, what? My parents... Wait, what? They said I needed... What? They said I needed a girlfriend. I've proven them wrong so far. Ooh. Wrong so far? Ooh. Sick flex. Anyways. It turned out alright. Stock... StarCraft 2 is now as old as StarCraft when it came out? I don't know exactly when StarCraft 1 released. Wasn't that like a couple months ago? You know, 24 years a couple months ago? But yeah, that is true. Oh god. That's pretty sick, dude. Created a Zerg drone for practice? I guess this guy did some 3D modeling? Alignment chart, responses Alignment chart, responses to help the post When you post a replay for help, lawfully good, neutral I don't really like these memes I am not This is or like maybe I'm a zoomer but I look at this and I'm like okay that's too much text I'm gonna move on It's too much text right? Yeah Blue hair, hair and me, we're both zoomers now Blue hair and me, we're both zoomers now. This is how we roll. Like, Rushy would definitely sit here and read all of it, because, you know, he's 33. Who would win? A giant primal Zerg who consumed the essence of entire armies to become gigantic enough to eat a mothership in one bite? Or one choky boy? Starcraft... Starcraft beta sounds? You call down the thunder, now reap the whirlwind. Engines to power. Installation under attack. Bro, On this is not correct. Identified craft detected. Imminent attack. Assistance requested. Enemy approaching. Enemy signature detected. I can't believe they put me in one of these things. We're being hit hard, Commander. You better do something. I don't know if you're keeping score, but we're getting our asses kicked out here. 
Dude, that is such a long line. Like, this line only makes sense if you're playing with about five actions per minute. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, these are the ones I didn't go through with. I get it. This has zero upvotes. This means that only someone else down. Here comes the Gantrathor. <laughs> I never participate on Reddit, but like, that was so bad. Nice emergency evacuation. From nice emergency evacuation from Cyan. Nice emergency evacuation from Cyan. Be sure he wins that fight. Oh, ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. And that fight as well, if he wants. Oh. Was that Maynard? Be sure he wins that fight. Oh, yeah, ouchie, Maynard. ouchie, ouchie. And that fight as well, if he wants. Oh my gosh, so much damage in the main base. Coffee's third, though. Under Assault Cyan says, oh, you want to do a big all-in? Guess what? You can't do it if I'm attacking you, mate. I'm just going to keep forcing you oh, to Green call. sieging up. But, uh oh big flank. Yep, Coffee from multiple sides. The force fields are good, though. And oh. it gives him enough... Get out of jail, free cart? Kind of, kind of. Uh, 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 uh. Kind of. I can't be the only one who sees this when they open Netflix. <laughs> I think I saw Tasteless retweeting this. I don't even know what the original picture of this was. Or what show this is supposed to be, but... <laughs> ...to be, but... <laughs> the SEC protecting retail investors, defending against early Zerkling rushes. <laughs> defending against early Zerkling rushes. Well done, lads. You did it. <laughs> okay, that was a good meme. Yeah, there were some American memes on the subreddit, I think on like Saturday night. See, I I don't know what this is. Starcraft macaroni and cheese, the cheesiest original. I don't know what I'm looking at, which makes me like, I don't, I guess it's something to, it's macaroni. Yeah, it's macaroni and then cheese. And then there's a, I think this is an American meme. Yeah, I'm too European to understand. This is the original cheese draft. Oh, the brand is called Kraft. Oh, that I didn't understand. That one I didn't realize. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes it funnier. I see. Craft is the brand. Ah. Yeah, Starcraft is then a good pun. Proto shaped pasta would be pretty sick. Yeah, apes can play. Yeah, apes can play, bro. I've watched. Yeah, yeah apes can play, bro. I've watched our toes as a street. Apes can drive cars? Is this footage of a 7k Protoss player? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Dude, I've never seen this before. But I'm not surprised. Like, these guys have brains that are not that different from ours. Plus, he's driving a golf cart, right? Like, they're basically, they're basically electric cars. <laughs> I like how chill he's about. Like, he looks like he's been doing this for decades. This is kind of like how the average guy chills at a, at a red light. Apes can drive electric cars, yeah. Look at it, you just say I have a monkey brain? I mean... He's just chilling! What the f***? Waving hi to his friend the zebra? I don't know what their, uh... I don't know if you can compare their intelligence... ...to... ...humans... ...in the same way as like, yo, he's as smart as a seven-year-old child or whatever. Um... They're definitely intelligent, though. Dude, that's brilliant. I've shown this video 
times before, but I, I always kind of like it. There's a lot of tests that have been done, testing memory of, uh, uh, of these monkeys, right? And it turns out, chimpanzees are significantly better at short-term memory than humans are, which is pretty sick. So basically the way they train this, is they show this screen and they teach him how the numbers work in order. So effectively it means that the chimp can count. And then they have to click them in order and they get a treat, right? So you can do this, right? I'm assuming you can do this. Right? So you can do this, right? I'm assuming you can do this. Can you do that? Their short-term memory is actually significantly better than ours. It's actually fantastic. It's actually really cool. That's it's pretty sick, right? So like, you know, we obviously are better at many things, but So now they're skipping, now they're skipping numbers and they still have to remember the order. Isn't that sick? And he's just chilling. <laughs> I like how he's he's doing it with like his his second hand while eating peanuts with his other. Yeah, this is a champ chimp. Oh, he wasn't paying attention. What are you gonna do when you don't pay attention? Was he paying attention? Oh, he was paying attention. Never mind. He was just busy. Legend, dude. Anyways, they apparently just need one glance at a screen. So I'm not surprised. What I'm trying to say is I'm not surprised to see a, an orangutan, you know, driving a car. Like, I don't know how many of you have ever driven an electric car before, but this is really not hard. <laughs> like, the hardest part is traffic, right? Like, that's the hardest part of driving a car in the first place. But you can literally drive most electric cars with one pedal. We may begin when we may begin whenever we may begin. We may begin whenever you are ready. <laughs> what? All right. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. Everybody dance now to. <laughs> oh, okay. We have the dance panel in the background. I kind of like it. I don't think Alarak. I don't think Alarak. Alarak is part of this. I don't think Alarak is part of I don't think Alarak is I don't think Alarak is part of this campaign yet, but here come the lads. Phoenix is there too? There too? We have a f <laughs> We have a full on dance party. I like it. Is the zealot gonna come back? Rohana is completely oblivious to what's going on in the background. I had no idea you could even adjust any of that. Oh, what? Hello? Uh, that is Jimmy Boy? There's the lady who turned into Jimmy Boy? There's the lady who turned into a, uh, Ariel Hudson, and then we have Matt, Matt Horner. How are they aboard the freaking Spear of a Dune? Maybe it's a vacation. Yeah, maybe they're just chilling. Like, we were thinking about going to Core Hall and to Terran Space to talk to him, but it turns out he's right there. Oh. Here's the entire gang together. Oh my god, how many Rainers are there? Dude, it just keeps going! Dude, it just keeps going! Rainer! See you! Oh, 
Yikes. Oh, I f***ed it up hard, didn't I? Oh, <laughs> oh sh I got him! Sorry. That was really messy by me. Maybe I should take a break. Why did no one even recommend that? We got there eventually. No! Oh, what the f- ah, ah, I needed to turn it first before I could take it left. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Chill, 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 chill. No! Loco, you f***ing idiot! Ah! Remember we used to have a no swearing rule on the stream? Me neither. Jeez, man. I suck. Oh. Okay, okay. I gave him a chance to come back, guys. Tetris. That's a new word. Most epicest. Ay ay ay. Two f silver league noobs facing off against each other. Clutching a win from the top of the board actually feels insanely good. Because I can also notice I'm getting better, even though I'm still not particularly good. There you go. Not particularly good. There you go. It won't be up yet. Hell. It, it won't be up yet. Hell. It will be up on my end, though. Hello, F. It will be up. It will be up on my end, though. Hello, everyone. My name is Loco, and, and welcome, welcome back, back to a professional, professional match of StarCraft 2. Today, Today it's time, time for a Terran vs. Zerk, where we find ourselves on Hard Wire. wire. Spawning Spawn right, right here in the top right corner, corner of the map. Anyways, one more game. I have no idea what that sounded like. I'm curious. Hello, everyone. My name is Loco, and, and welcome, welcome back, back to a professional match of StarCraft 2. Today, Today it's time for a Terran vs. Zerg, where we find ourselves on hard wire. wire. Spot. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see. I see. Quality content. Two times Loco. What a time. Chad, I need some help, says Kalibrovka. What is considered good income in Europe? I was asking to give my salary expectations and I don't want to accidentally ask too low or too high. Dude, that is that is where they catch you, right? They already have a number in their minds, right? And they just hope that you go below it. It depends on where you live. You should probably look... Chad, I good income in Europe. I was asking why. Dude, that is, that is where they catch you, right? They already have a number in their minds, right? And they just hope that you go below it. It depends on where you live. You should probably look it up. You can, at least, in, at least in the Netherlands, you can very easily find it. Just look for the position, look for your country, and Google it. I'm sure they'll find you. Yeah, in general, I think you probably want to go higher than uh, what you expect. Even though it's going to be a little bit tricky to... Uh... Like, if you go higher, they'll probably give you their best over, right? But, yeah, ask, ask for at least... At least a little bit over what you expect.
The wages are the same in the country of Europe. Very true. If you throw yourself too low, you give them the feeling that maybe you're not so good. Right. I, I am by no means an interview expert, though. There's many people in the chat that know a lot more. Especially if you're a programmer or in IT or something along those lines. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of engineers in the chat as well. Yeah. You're in Finland in IT? Don't give them a number, says Dark Server. Tell them to give you a number. And they can counter you because they aren't going to give you their best number. Right. You gotta play the silly cat and mouse game. I overshot by 4k and they still came back and offered me. There you go. That's pretty good. Yeah, it is scary, man. I understand. Like, it's, uh, you know, confrontation in general can be a little bit, uh, a little bit scary. I actually saw a great little tweet from, uh, the lady who makes all my Twitch emotes. She posted, all right, I think it was a retweet. Yeah, it was. This is, <laughs> this is the eternal debate. What are your prices? What's your budget? <laughs> Do -do -do. <laughs> we have an, a countrywide database for that in Switzerland, and it turns out I'm underpaid. Ooh, time to move to a new company, Papuch. I mean, you could bring it up with your current company, but that seems to be the general IRL build order. Whenever, uh, you know, you've been somewhere for a while, apparently the best thing you can do is go to a different company. As that is. You should probably tell them, though. But I, again, confrontation can be a bit scary. Salary discussions in general are a little bit scary. Loco, if you weren't streaming, what would you be doing? I... Loco, if... Loco, if you... It's scary. Loco, if you weren't streaming, what would you be doing? I have no idea, man. I haven't asked for a race recently, no. Word on the street has... <laughs> Twitch is gonna f*** over every single partner of theirs soon enough. That, that is the current word on the street. The Twitch street, that is. Twitch has not uh, actually responded to the rumor that's going around at all, which makes me even more concerned about it. I might have to redo some of my stuff, though, if... Uh, if Twitch does indeed, like, uh, uh, get rid of, you know, the, the partnerships split, I don't really know exactly uh, how we're gonna do that, but I will definitely have to reprioritize some stuff. We going to YouTube Loco? Maybe we will, I don't know. Professional Twitch people don't overreact to rumor. Uh, I don't think it's an overreaction. Like, the, the main thing, right? So, for those of you wondering, there was a Bloomberg article a little while ago. Like, three days ago. Six days ago. This one. Where it basically mentions that... Allegedly, Twitch is looking into making a bunch of changes as soon as this summer. Some changes to Twitch's monetization structure could be implemented as soon as this summer. Twitch staff is considering pairing back the revenue cut of channel subscriptions granted to the top echelon of streamers in partnership program from 50 or to 50 percent from 70 percent. And they're gonna apparently make don't up for that enough? by playing more ads. Now, I uh, don't think I can show you guys my exact revenue share on Twitch, but I can tell you that I make way more money off of off of subscriptions than ads, as you may have guessed. Because ads suck, and I try to play as few of them as possible. But if I'm gonna have to shove ads down your throat, uh, I don't know, man. It's it's not it's not fun. Nobody likes ads, especially on live content. Ads just don't really make a whole lot of sense in the first place, anyway. But yeah, and the whole situation is a bit meme though, because if they're really gonna change the revenue share on most of their bigger partners from 70 to 50 percent, if they actually go through with that. I wouldn't be surprised if there's gonna be a like a, a mass exodus off of Twitch. I I wouldn't be surprised. We'll see. Look, don't you have an army of programmers here? We should make our own platform. I mean, YouTube is very open in their shares. They have always offered fifty or seventy percent. So the way it works on Twitch is that when you first become partnered, or I think affiliate as well, you get a fifty percent revenue split. And generally speaking, if you grow. You can negotiate up to 70%. So, YouTube by default for everyone, by default for everyone, offers 70%. So, there's been a lot of word, like, there's been a lot of rumor about this recently. And rather than reacting to it, Twitch is like, mm, we're not going to say anything. Confirmed. Which makes me a little we concerned. We just need more subscriptions so we Yo. won't see ads. Thank you very, very much, Killman.
I very much so appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know exactly. Thank you very much. He's more subscribed. Which makes me a little. I don't so. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know exactly how that's gonna work out. If they actually change the revenue share after, you know. But it's a bit weird though, because I've been streaming loyally on Twitch for like a decade at this point. And if, if they're gonna be like, you know what? Now you get to do the same thing, what we shove more ads down your throat and you get paid less. Mm, I don't really like the idea of that too much, I'll be honest with you, if that is, you know, the direction we're headed into. So I'll have to make some choices if they do go through with it. But, um, yeah, for the time being, I'm staying on Twitch. But it is definitely all a little bit funky. It, it puts you in a weird, a weird spot, right? Like, I don't know. Yeah, on YouTube, you can also stream at a much higher bitrate, which is also really nice. The streams on YouTube in general look way nicer, because uh, the bitrate is higher quality. Plus, you can, like, rewind broadcasts and all that. Like, that's what I'm trying to... Like, that's that's why I have a hard time that they would actually go through with changes like that, though. Because they could have gotten away with something like this, like, four or five years ago, when they actually had, like, a, a near monopoly on live streaming of gaming. But, like, they're not there anymore, dude. Like, if they actually go through with this, like, the people that are, are really gonna benefit, I think, is YouTube. It, it makes it makes no sense, right? So I have a hard time imagining they're actually gonna go through with that. But maybe one day. What about Facebook, Loco? Facebook gaming, all jokes aside, I mean, it's not really for my content, but it's, it's, a, it's a big platform. What about OnlyFans? Right. It is Twitch, Loco. Never underestimate it. Right. Dude, 100% Tyson. Yeah, it's a huge cut. I don't really know, actually, uh, Zwithack. So if you're a Twitch partner, you do sign an exclusivity deal with Twitch, or at least the vast majority of partners on Twitch have that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure on the legality within the Netherlands, but I also don't want to lose my Twitch partnership, right? Like, <laughs> if I'd be like, ah, you can't do that, they'll be like, okay, f you. <laughs> they don't give a f about me. Uh, what's this? Facebook gaming won't take a, a cut of a streamer revenue about me. Uh, what's this? Facebook Gaming won't take a, a cut of a streamer revenue until 2023. To help more creators make a living on our platform, we're going to keep paid online events, fan subscription badges, and our upcoming independent news products free of for creators until 2023. And when we introduce a revenue share, it will be less than the 30% that Apple and others take. There's no way Amazon is gonna f risk their platform. Ah, uh, hmm. <laughs> I, like, I know companies, big companies can risk their platform. I, like, form, like, I know, I know companies, yeah. platform, I know companies, big companies can make some weird decisions. Because there is a chance, right, that, like, Twitch views at this, right, they look at, at their own company as, like, the only company in the, the, the live streaming space, right? I wouldn't be surprised if there's a couple of people really high up at Twitch that are like, we f own this space, right? And, and currently they do. But it seems like a lot of companies forget that these websites literally wouldn't exist without their content creators, right? And if you... I don't know. It's, uh, it's all a little strange. Surely you can trust Zuckerberg? I can think you can trust Zuckerberg with this. I actually think Zuckerberg doesn't really get as much credit as he probably deserves, man. Yeah, he's a little bit of a creepy guy, but so are most of the top-tier billionaires. The guy is exceptionally successful for, you know, his age. I mean, he's a bit of a... bit of a... But that's pretty much... The, like, I don't know. Why Why does Elon get, like, all the worship and Mark Zuckerberg gets all the, all the hate? Elon seems to be way more charismatic, I guess, than Zuckerberg. But they both seem to be kind of, you know, they don't seem to be the, the nicest people. Elon gets plenty of hate too. Right, but not nearly at the same level as Zuckerberg, though. He's a me He posts memes on Twitter. That's probably the... <laughs> he posts memes on Twitter. That's probably the main difference. I don't know. I find it weird the whole, like, billionaire worship in the first place. But, but I do feel like Mark Zuckerberg is getting a lot of hate. Yeah, Zuck doesn't come out with flamethrowers. <laughs> the Zuck is trying to... Re Recreate Ready Player One. He's actually trying hard, but yeah. Anyways, I didn't actually notice. That's pretty cool. I didn't actually know that this was a thing.
<clears throat> so this was actually already last year. Oh, they announced this last year. They take zero revenue share. Okay. All right, Kev. Okay, fine. This is a, a thing that... Okay. Zero revenue share? Okay. All right, Kev. Okay, fine. This is a, a thing that Gabe linked me, guys. Um, it's becoming more and more dangerous to click these random links. But we'll find out together. I was just winning this on-ramp. There's no signs blocking it off, and I thought I was f***ing high. That's just a pit on the on-ramp. What the f***? They don't have, have this shit blocked off or nothing. <laughs> what? Watch, this guy's coming. There's a guy coming behind me. Hey, yo. Bro. He's not even letting him know. He's, he's like, watch this guy. He might die. Like, what do you mean, dude? Yeah. Oh, is he gonna go? It does look like a puddle. Yeah, it really does. Oh, it's water! It's water! It's water! It's Holy it's a puddle. Oh, it's, it's water. water. <laughs> I am high. <laughs> I'm not actually high, but holy <laughs> It is <laughs> It's a puddle, right? Okay. All right. Go past it. Why is it not loading? Twitter. Looks like a pit, doesn't it? It's water. New subscriber. Dude, it Detected. still kind of looked like a pit. Hey, thank you, Aishi, for the 22 months. I diagnosed this guy with low blind, right? Found these ancient. Found these ancient Zelnaga artifacts in my closet. Oh my god. An original StarCraft box? Void launch shuttle, I will leave when you have a decent army going and I got artifacts in my one shuttle, I will original StarCraft box. Void launch shuttle, I will leave when you have a decent army going and you can intercept the shuttles while guarding me. Side of Amon shuttle, I will leave at seven minutes and fly across the map over five hundred missile turrets. <laughs> I mean both are pretty easy, but they're this this one definitely can catch you off guard, yeah. Nation war and off guard, yeah. Nation war NFTs? Oh no. Discover Nation Warriors by O Gaming TV, the esports competitive scene powered by NFTs. Bro, no. No, 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 no. NFTs are stupid. Please, please don't do this. goes for something oh, like this. Oh, there are oh, oh, so many Bailey. Oh, the EMP! He fuggles the ghost. He gets the EMP, and now the ghosts are just about you. He fuggles the ghost. He gets the EMP, and now the oh, so many Bailey. Oh, oh okay, that's kind of hard to see. There's an infestor right over there, neural par parasiting the ghosts, or one of the ghosts, and then using EMP on the other ghost. That's that's how you uh, that's how you play Zerk in 2022, dude. He fungles the ghost. He gets the EMP, and now the ghosts are just about. Yeah, he neural the ghost. He didn't fungal it. Run. Cyril, he knocks another base down, and my goodness, Cyril is just a god. That's not fair. Yeah, the Zerk so counter to late game like, units oh, is Cyril utter is late game units. Seven, okay, there's no. another Cyril fungal exactly too. He's doing another fungal dude, all you need to do, guys, this is what people mean when they say play, play like Cyril. All you need to do is just you know not f up, just. Don't be bad at the game. Just, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Sarah's ridiculously good. 99% useless facts with Fear Dragon. The movie. Episodes 1 through 63. Okay, I will watch a couple of these. This is literally an hour and five minutes long. <laughs> Do I get in trouble for copyrighted music? Doesn't look like it. Minutes long. <laughs> when you mine gas from a Terran refinery, there's a 50 50 chance the gas comes from the. Okay, I will watch a couple of these. This is literally an hour and five.
When you mine gas from a Terran refinery, there's a 50-50 chance the gas comes from the left or right side. Oh! Oh, that's what he means. Okay, sorry. I thought the SCV was supposed to be carrying it on the left or the right side, but it's like the the light inside of the refinery is different. Okay, alright. If a phoenix lifts something, the area under it is considered unbuildable terrain. <laughs> if you activate cloak right before a projectile hits you, you can dodge the cloak or the shot. Right. That's actually pretty cool. It's just very energy inefficient. But yeah, technically some micro potential. Episode 2 of 99% Useless Facts. When a phoenix lifts a baneling and it dies, the baneling still does splash damage to ground. Whoa. <laughs> 99% Useless Facts is a great name. Because it's accurate. It's like almost useless. If you use force fields, you can stack units on top of each other. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much useless. That's a lot of siege tanks. When siege tanks, or with siege tanks, you can siege them up to keep them stacked and do pretty massive damage to a single target. Can I please use corrosive bile? Roaches normally do 14 damage after their ranged attack is reduced by guardian shield, right? However, when a roach is in melee range, it will do a melee attack that's unaffected by Guardian Shield. So now it deals 16 damage per attack rather than 14? I don't think you want to be running into a Disruptor though, but... A full energy oracle can kill nearly any building in the game. A command center and hatchery will die first with roughly 40 to 45 energy left. Really? I guess we never really see oracles at full energy. The lair dies with only around 7 energy left over. Yeah, Hive does have more health. It also has more armor, I believe, but I don't know exactly what the details are. If a Viper draws energy from a Nexus... <laughs> already! Already a very useful bit of info. First off, a Viper can draw energy from a Nexus. Anyways, it will bypass the shields and only take away from the health. I didn't know that. This may be the only way to kill a Nexus that has full shields. <laughs> That's a very good point. Yeah, this could only really do, like happen in 2v2, 3v3, and 4v4. Can't really happen in a 1v1. Unless you neural... You could neural parasite a probe and then build your own nexus. But there's a whole lot of... <laughs> there's a whole lot of problems with that. When a phoenix lifts a viking during the transformation, the viking will be frozen mid-animation. And immediately resume the animation when they... Okay. But much more fun is if you do it just at the right time, you can raise it to the sky. Oh my god! <laughs> Somehow it went even higher up! Okay. When an AoE spell mouses over a target, there's a circle indicator that pops in and out of targets that would be hit. Right? Yeah, I knew that. Oh, okay. A Reaper always attacks with his left hand first. When burrowed banelings, you can right-click on the burrow icon to auto-cast. Everyone knows that though, right? This will cause them to auto on burrow when enemy units walk close to them. But I think everyone knows that. Right? Anyways. This is new for me, Loco? No, I didn't know that. So they unburrow automatically, but they don't blow up automatically. Yeah, so you can blow up a baneling that's sitting underground. Which is much faster than if you unburrow it first and then it blows up. If an infester neurals an adept after a shade that has been sent out, the Protoss player still maintains control of the shade. <laughs> so what after it ends? 
Okay, okay, it just shifts control back to the protocols. However, if your Neuron Adept before the Shade is out, the Zerg player gets control of the Shade even after the Neuro expires? And then it's the Protosses again? Normally, Disruptors can't damage friendly Disruptors, right? And if you Neuro Parasite an enemy Disruptor, Fire Shult, then cancel the Neuro before it lands, it still won't do damage. Okay. But of course, if you have it while it's neuroing, then it does deal damage. Yeah. Normally, a flying command center has a movement speed of 131. Okay. But if you chrono boost it, it will get a movement speed of 1.5. <laughs> These are just like programmer oversights, okay? These are just things that the programmers and the QA people just never even thought of. <laughs> it's so stupid. Okay, one more, one more. Normally a Hellion kills buildings pretty slowly. Right? But a stasis trap is the light or the only light unit that's also a building letting a Hellion kill it faster than most other buildings. Stasis traps are light? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. An immortal, or sorry, a battle cruiser one shots an immortal with Yamato cannon normally. However, if the immortal takes some damage to trigger hardened shields, it can survive the Yamato cannon. Okay, it doesn't have that anymore. Does it still work like that? I don't think it does. Not that it's particularly useful, but... Yeah, it still works like that then, right? It's called barrier, right? Like, not hardened shields? Am I crazy? Anyways. Okay, one more then. One more. Okay, one more. Normally, if a ne Nexus is in a pylon's power field, you can warp in units pretty quickly. Right? But if the Nexus dies during the warp-in, it'll turn into a slow warp-in. When it dies, it'll show the unit warping in that this... Wait. When it dies, it'll show the unit warp-in to disappear as it... Or, okay, so it says... Uh, I guess it says then disappear as it turns into a slow warp-in. Oh, it bugs out the entire animation? Yeah, there's an hour of this. A Dark Templar can blink a good distance. But did you know it has a minimum distance it must blink to? Bro, is that just because the Stalker... They just copy-pasted it straight from the Stalker and the Stalker unit size is bigger? I didn't know that this was a thing. They probably just copy-pasted the entire ability, right? So, it's like, a Stalker can't blink into itself? That has to be it. Very useless. 99% useless. Okay, okay, okay. We can check a couple later again, but these are always great, man. These are really fun. The devs are lazy to recode. I mean, you don't really have to recode if you've already written the code, right? You, you might want to look into the details real quick. Uh, anyways, none of us knew, guys, so it's all good. How does he even find that kind of stuff? I don't know. I know uh, Fear Dragon is into, uh, he's a software engineer, right? So, I can imagine he's just spending a long time in the editor or something along New those lines. I'm not sure. Detected. He usually tunes into the stream, so maybe you can ask him later. Made a derpy siege stream, so maybe you can ask him later. Made a derpy siege, you can ask him later. Made a derpy siege tank. I feel like I'm intruding on someone's personal life. This is a five minute long video. Dude, I am 100... This, this is not right. Please stop touching the cake. No, stop it. Stop it. Okay, I want to see the end result. Look at what's going on. I don't know. Two people making a cake. How many people do you need to eat that? Like, I don't even know enough people to eat a full cake like that. Around four to five? 
Get out of here. I could eat that by myself. Look, I'm not asking if you can. Dude, they're finger painting. Is this how they make the average cake? Is this how the average cake is made? Is it like 98% you know cake and 2% cook? Is is like the chef like 2% part of it? Please tell me it's not the case. It is derpy. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Apparently that Apparently they found something that looks like a doorway on Mars. Oh no. Wait, is this an actual picture on Mars? Wait, what? I am not familiar with the original picture. A door-shaped cavity has been spotted on Mars? Five days ago? This has to be fake. The Curiosity rover captured a quote-unquote doorway on Mars. It's too perfect and too symmetrical to be naturally occurring. And yet it might just be that. It does look like a f***ing doorway. Did not, I need to find the official NASA source, okay? NASA doorway. If, like, NASA officially spotted it and, like, you know, they, they posted about it, I will be more likely to believe something than Reddit. I can't find any official sources. This is not a new doorway to space. No, that's not what I'm looking for. This is actually on the NASA website, but that's not quite the same thing. Fact-checking in 2022? Oh, sh that's not what I'm supposed to do. You're right. Guys, aliens confirmed. Lock your doors at night. They're coming for you. Sorry, that's better, right? Wait, there is an official picture on on NASA.gov? Oh, sh This image was taken by masked camera on board the NASA Mars rover Curiosity on Sol 3466. I mean, obviously, naturally occurring, anything can, like, you know, appear, right? But that, that definitely does look carved, right? That's the way that we carve, with, like, a big-ass chisel. But then again, there's many things that look artificial on planet Earth as well. Oh yeah, I saw this. Oh yeah, I saw this post. I saw this post. This is great. I want Battle Mech playstyle to be viable. So this guy starts off saying, It has been three years since the revert of the Cyclone. The Battle Mech playstyle was very popular and felt good to play with and play against. I read the first like line and I thought, okay, you know what? I don't, f I don't remember ever enjoying playing against Cyclones. Yeah, I saw this post. I saw this post. This is great. I want Battle Mech playstyle to be viable. So this guy starts off saying, It has been three years since the revert of the Cyclone. The Battle Mech playstyle was very popular and felt good to play with and play against. I read the first like line and I thought, okay, you know what? I don't... I don't remember ever enjoying playing against Cyclones. Doesn't sound very objective, but maybe I'm mistaken. Anyways, he goes on to suggest two upgrades. The first one being regenerative biosteel. When Cyclones and Hellions slash Hellbats don't receive damage for three seconds, they will begin to regenerate out of combat. Remove armor tags from Cyclones. Cost 100, 100, and 100 seconds to research. Requires armory. Okay. Neo Steel Plating. Increases the HP for Hellions slash Hellbats and Cyclones by 5. By 5? For the second option, this is directly blah blah blah. 5 HP might not seem much, but it changes the breakpoint of so many attacks against them. They will remain vulnerable to splash damage as usual. I don't really know exactly what the n the number is. Like, how many attacks does something take to kill a... Uh, a Cyclone. Not a lot of people enjoy playing against Cyclones, though, I don't think. Anyways, I was looking at the comments and 
Everyone's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, okay, okay. So just... Glad we're not talking about this. Is there a benefit to being armored? Certain units deal bonus damage against armored. So this is actually a buff. So this is actually like a bigger buff than like healing out of combat. Because it means that things like, for example, immortals don't deal bonus damage to them anymore and stuff. So you just kind of snuck that in there. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, also no armored. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, also no armored. <laughs> yeah, I saw this one. This is great. Beast mode. Get your beast mode on. The only song you truly need in your gym playlist. The Terran theme of the original StarCraft. That's how you look like this guy in no time. That's how it's done. This is, by the way, exactly what I look like with my shirt off. I just love my body more because I like, I've covered my abs with f my body more because I like. I've covered my abs with fat. That's how I show love. Anyways, I've got like one app. Keep your shirt on, Sparky. <laughs> I've been getting mad at people for no reason. <laughs> I've been getting mad at people for no reason, says the Terran. Proto says, huh? Terran continues being mad. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> This is so bad. This is really, it's, it's barely, there's barely even any effort. Hashtag relatable. Hashtag relatable. When you see two disruptor balls in your main army. <laughs> bro, stop taking, what, what's this? What am I even doing? A yacht? No, bro. A yacht? No, bro. What's the point of a yacht? I don't understand the point of a yacht. I really don't get it. Like, what's even like? I I don't I don't understand. Like, what do you what do you do with it? You just kind of sit there. <laughs> like, what's the point? I don't get it. You survive if the Netherlands gets flooded. It's like a six star hotel you can have anywhere. I get that, but like, there are hotels around the world that you can go to too, right? Which is going to be much cheaper than owning. It. I don't understand. Like, I think the main purpose of owning a yacht is pretty... Like, I'm pretty sure it's to tell others that you own a yacht. Right? Isn't that... You gotta share a hotel with others? Maybe those people, like, like just live at a, a level that I can't even understand. Like, when you have so much money, you just don't know what to do with it. Then I guess maybe at some point you're like... A yacht! Let's do it! But it seems so pointless. Loco, you should be grateful that Noah had a yacht. All right. Thank you, you Noah. I appreciate you, Noah. Noah fit two Planet of every f animal on that yacht of his, man. It was a big ass yacht. Under so, wait. So, wait, what's this? So, wait, what's this? Is this like Aaron Earn and Iron Earn? Coffee costs a quarter on the corner. Coffee costs a quarter on the corner. I've been told that I have a fake New York accent, which I disagree, but whatever, we gonna try it. All right. I could already feel the Brooklyn just oozing out of my damn. I have not heard this one. We have seen a load of these videos. It's like purple burglar alarm. We've seen that one. Taste buds. Coffee cost the quarter on the corner. Coffee cost. I know, for real. Like, all right. Boom, we're going to the store. Boom. Coffee cost the quarter on the corner. At the <laughs> fuck. <laughs> coffee cost the quarter at the corner store. Ho ho coffee. Coffee costs a quarter. That hurts my jaw. Absolutely not. C coffee. Co. Co. Ooh, what the. Coffee. 
Oh, she puts a W in there? Quaffy? A quarter. Quaffy cross the quarter on the corner stove? At the corner store. Damn oh. it, it does. And make sure it's light and sweet with three sugars. Don't play with me. I'm upset. So New York accent. Does that mean New York City? Because there's multiple people in the previous call that are from New York, and I don't speak like that. So what, what, what is this? This means specifically New York City? Brooklyn, really? Okay. That's specifically Brooklyn for the most part? Brooklyn, really? Okay. That's specific. That's specific. Okay. That's spe Okay. That's specifically Brooklyn for the most part? Okay. That's specifically Brooklyn for the most part? Brooklyn is just a part of New York City, right? Staten Island is not New York loco. Don't listen to Jake. Okay. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Is that what you're saying? No one ever talks about the rest of the state. Dude, whoever... What are you saying? No one ever talks about the rest of the state. Dude, whoever handles the Asmongold YouTube channel, those people are going hard at it, man. Look at how often they upload, right? Look at this. It's actually kind of wild. So this is, like, look, this is one day ago. That's so many videos in one day. No, it's definitely not a bot. No, 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 definitely not. He just watches a bunch of YouTube videos while he's streaming, and then there's highlights made out of that, and they get posted while he's already live. But look at the, like, there's so many. This is three days ago. That's like 20 plus videos. Actually crazy. Yeah, it's all edited. Yeah, yeah he, he must have multiple editors working on all of this. There's no way he's doing it himself. New Pretty wild. Detected. Nah, there's no way he's doing that himself. Stream. Nah, Thanks no way. For your routine. Yo, Tumult, no worries, man. Thank you very much. No more Balt jokes? All this sexual harassment, employee tribunal uh, rules. Calling man bald is sex harassment after employment tri tribunal compares it to commenting on a woman's breasts. <laughs> Alright, that's, yeah, okay. See, I don't even fight this time. See, I don't even find this type of content on the internet. Where do you even find that? As electrician called bald cracked by supervisor. Whoa, okay, thank you for that. Compensation for having dignity violated. Tony Finn was fired from his British bung company after being called a bald cracked. <laughs> Ruling was made by a panel of three men who bemoaned their own lack of hair. Thank God. Bald kings rise up. Finally, we're fighting back uh, against the matriarchy. They're trying to make fun of us for going bald. Yeah, let's let's stick together, guys. That's right. <laughs> okay. Bald kings. Yeah, let's go. Where are the bald kings in the chat? I know there's many bald kings in the chat, actually. For some reason, this is a subject that comes up like three times a week. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of bald kings. <laughs> you happen to be a bald king as well? You also share a birthday with the Dutch King, Nolan. Ay, ay, ay. It just keeps on giving.
I only need a couple of eyes here in order to get anything. Chad, I need some help, says Kalibrovka. What Uh, what's this? Face and what? I know currently they do. And it was actually There's no signs blocking it off, and I thought I was becoming. Found just Made a derpy seat. <laughs> so this I've been getting some point at the corner store. No, 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 definitely not.
This is a... These are just silly. Like, I don't know. Don't, like, putting a winding... Like... Please. Okay. Or like I don't know what I believe I am in the Akinator too. Yeah, you're a real did Twitch. No. Do I have a special? <laughs> Are you here to Theo? What a left stars. Look me up. She also has her. She sent me pictures on this. Okay. I look at the chat and this is what we have. I never really. This. Yeah. Hello. I look like. Okay. Or what is it called? Free climbing. What's up, dude? Oh, we're standing a little closer to the. It. Just look at these ruins. I took. Or what? Tell you what a really. Hello. Basically the same. Basically the same. Same level of energy, anyways. Are you here? That's amazing. He's gonna. Or what is it called? Free climbing? Where they're like. Lazy. Have I actually. Have I actually. Alt. Slowly. See how many times. Have I? Get it. Just go. Question. Argue. All right, guys. Like I global steep dating as the Zagara with no Zagara. Yeah. <laughs> I'm locked.
Forever Unlucky? No. Oh, he's doing the, uh, what's it called again? The Akinator? That was the question! Nerd. Yeah, I'm a bit of a fake nerd. It's true, man. <laughs> I believe I am in the Akinator. Twitch yet wishes that. Good guy Loco, man. Helping Gabe out with like two minutes worth of the next highlight video. Very nice. Just yeet it in there. <laughs> no. Apparently, Raynor's starting an OnlyFans. On what is I'm getting better? It will be up on my end, though. Oh, on the hard, hard. Zelda, I'm gonna. <laughs> but I'm not so here. I see. Crap. Oh, God. Sound like that? Parents, yeah. Of the arguments I had with my parents growing up. No. Like what? Just against an idiot. <laughs> Does he not the know it's Rainer? It's actually very sick. Wait, wait, wait! Did he not realize it was Rainer? Rainer started. Oh, okay. I actually misread that. Hotkey profile. I changed some of those hotkeys at some point. Can I have a little snack? I was a doctor. We have a little section that says how to file an account. Ah, oh, yikes. Did you hold F to mount? It's Watopia. Nah, I, I want. Wait, is that Hard Nepper's base? I should have brought up. Yeah, get yeah, cool kids. <laughs> Sit on that shelf. <gasps> that Ursula, my daughter pointed out the reason. Twitch yet wishes only not alert. Dave, they just have the zug. I haven't. S I don't. Allerger. A supply depot farm. Yeah. It's actually very simple. I'm sure that if you were- Apparently Rainer's very- 